Every month, every year, you tell yourself that you'll crack it this time. But then what happens? Every second or third day or a week later, you break down and you lose your motivation and focus. But you still don't know why? Well, you have clicked on the right video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Medically Yours after a very long time. My name is Anissa, a third year MBBS student at Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Imphal, Manipur. And today, we are diving into something really very important that could save your knee 2025 from fanning. This is most common mistakes to avoid during it preparation. All I need is 15 minutes of attention to make you realize your mistakes and give you practical solutions to your problems. I've appeared in three times and overcome these mistakes all by myself. And trust me, uh, you don't want to make these mistakes again. And you know what a good news is? You are not alone and there's ways to fix them. For convenience, I've grouped those mistakes into three categories. One, study-related mistakes. Two, taste-related mistakes. And a third, mindset-related mistakes. So everyone, grab your notebooks, note down your mistakes and the solutions. Let's get started. Under study-related mistakes, first, choosing a wrong study environment. This is important because we can't study anywhere, anytime. Uh, we need to concentrate when we are studying. So, choosing a noisy place or next to a function or in the middle of a family gossip is really very disturbing. Why? Because your brain needs a calm environment for concentration. What about the ways to fix them? It's quite easy. Pick a quiet spot in your home or if your house is noisy, Try earflux, or if you don't have a personal room yet, no problem, you try going to a library, it's very readily available nowadays. The second mistake is setting unrealistic targets. Many aspirants dream bigger than reality, uh, they think that they can complete three, four chapters of physics, chemistry, and biology each, and also practice questions in a single day. I don't think it's possible. This is impractical. So ultimately, two hours later, you find yourself sprawling memes. Uh, this is because you have overloaded yourself. It's like eating your favorite food or eating 10 plates of biryani at once. Uh, the result is you'll get sick and leave everything halfway in frustration. The solution to this is uh, we need to set smart goals which should be specific, achievable, relevant and time-bound. Uh, let's take a practical example. Uh, think that today I'll cover one chapter of biology, example living world, and a small chapter of chemistry that is redox reactions and revised formulas for physics of a chapter and then try to practice 50 questions for physics in a whole day considering that you are not going to coaching or any other classes. I guess this is quite practical. And to make this possible, you need to create a to-do list for tomorrow, the night before you sleep, uh, because uh, this helps in maintaining consistency and continuity uh, in your studies. The third common mistake is lack of a proper study plan. This is somewhat similar to the previous one. Well, the problem here is Students study randomly without having a proper schedule and it's like traveling without maps. You'll keep wandering here and there and never reach your destination. How to fix this is, uh, follow a weekly timetable and make a schedule for the topics you need to study this entire week. This will help you keep your track of your progress and your backlogs. Remember not to make it too consistent or impractical. For example, broadly you can plan for three chapters for physics, chemistry and biology each for the entire week. Uh, now, since the exam is very near, you might be having taste and you might be enrolled in certain coachings. So, try to complete all the chapters coming for the test during the entire week. One more important thing is, if you are enrolled in a particular coaching, go with the flow of that schedule and stop trying to be a hero or trying to do extraordinary things. Keep things simple. The fourth mistake is using too many resources. Students take a lot of unnecessary guidances from anywhere and get overwhelmed and confused. They read a topic from one book, uh, some part from the other book, and so on. This keeps on going. Uh, the main problem here is uh, you read some XYZ coaching notes, some books, YouTube videos, and random PDFs, but finally, you miss out the holy book of NIT. That is NCRT books and its questions and examples. This is very suicidal. Why? Because uh, more resources leads to more confusion, and at this point, your brain is running on overloaded mode. The solution to this is uh, stick to NCRT plus one good reference book or coaching's notes or your teacher's notes per subject because what we should keep in mind is uh, we should prefer quality over quantity always throughout the preparation. Here I remember a quote by the legend Bruce Lee uh, which goes by, I do not fear the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once uh, but 
I feel man who has practiced a kick 10,000 times. Uh, this line makes a lot of sense and it's quite relatable in our context. The fifth mistake is ignoring or avoiding weak areas. Uh, the problem here is uh, when you do not understand a, a concept or, or a chapter, uh, you try to avoid those and then when it comes back again to you, you keep on ignoring those questions and at last, you'll not be able to solve those questions and you'll lose marks in every test. So, avoiding tough questions, for example, like organic chemistry or physics numericals, admit it, we've all done this. During my first preparation year, uh, I avoided a lot of physics questions and numericals, which proved to be very wrong in the end. Uh, why? Because NIT does not ask what you like, it tests us what you know from the whole syllabus. And moreover, nowadays there is no optional section for you to choose which questions you like to solve. So it's very difficult, you need to study the entire syllabus. Solution to this is, make a weakness hour in your sojo. Keep one hour extra every day uh, for your toughest subject. Break it into smaller chunks, like for example, keep 20 minutes for revising the theory or for understanding the concepts and then 30 minutes for questions practice and then the remaining 10 minutes for review or revision. This will help quite a lot. The sixth mistake is ignoring revision. This is a very important point because when you think that you will revise later, the letter never comes. What happens is your memory fades 70% in two days without revision. Things you have learned recently goes into your short term memory. But for it to be transferred into the cerebral cortex, that is the permanent memory uh, by the hippocampus in your brain, revision becomes a must. It is much more necessary than studying or adding newer things. You need to recall it again and again for it to be fixed it in your neurons. To fix this, I'll suggest you a very important technique that is space repetition technique. What we need to do is, what you study today, revise on day 1, follow it on th day 3, and then on day 7, and then on day 21. And also don't forget to practice MCQs during revision. Don't just keep on revising the theories or formulas again and again. Sometimes you can uh, do the opposite. Like practice the questions first and then go on the theory next. Leaving the previous year questions uh, for the last moment, I would say it's a pure suicide because concepts related to the PYQs should be at your fingertips and these are the most asked questions again and again in any competitive exams. I hope you understand. The second group of mistakes are taste related mistakes. This is also very important because NEET is based upon what you recall, what you retain and your accuracy and time management. Many people fail during the original taste. This is because they make a lot of mistakes. Now let's discuss what are those. First, skipping mock taste. Students keep on studying, they make notes, they watch lectures, they revise, but when the time for mock taste arises, they skip. That's a huge problem because avoiding mock taste, thinking that I can't do it, uh, I feel anxious, whatever, it's like skipping the warm-ups before a big match. Mind you, you will fall under real pressure. I suggest you to appear mock test every week. Since it's already February, uh, take one full length test every week and then uh, treat it like a real exam under the same timing and under the same environment and under the same pressure situation. And taking too many tests is also a problem. Some guys appear a lot of unnecessary mock tests, which may be relevant or irrelevant. They appear test every day, but it does not help in the end. It will just make you exhausted. You'll not get enough time to revise. You'll not have time to analyze and assess your real progress. Your mind will be distracted. So restrict your taste to just two or three at a maximum during a week. And for people preparing through online mode during the whole year, now, it's high time you shift yourself to offline mode, mainly for taste. The second common mistake is poor time management during NEET. The problem here is when you are confused at a question, you spend 5-10 minutes on one MCQ and which will lead to panic at the end. This is very wrong because uh, NEET is a very time limited exam. We just get 180 minutes for 180 questions and also for setting the OMR sets. So effectively, you get only around 150 to 160 minutes. If you spend 10 minutes on a question, you'll spoil the exam. 
Well, the best way to fix this is use the two minute rule. If you are stuck on a question, mark it, move on, and then return later if you get time. And while appearing, allocate time for each section that is physics, chemistry, and biology. Keep a track of your time while appearing the test. I suggest you to complete your biology within 60 minutes, chemistry within 50 minutes, and then physics within 60 minutes and leave the remaining 10 to 15 minutes for the questions that you have left out for review. Come back again and then solve it if possible. This includes the time you take for filling the OMR sheets. The third mistake is OMR filling mistakes. One major mistake every need aspirant make is this one. The main problem is filling wrong bubbles, skipping answers or waiting till the last minute is very very risky. To fix this, I suggest you to set the OMR after every five questions or do it after each subject but don't keep it for the last moment please don't be the person who leaves it for the last 10 minutes and regrets lifetime this is the biggest mistake during my preparation during my first and second drop uh, had i not made six to seven or more mistakes i would be giving final exams by now for two consecutive years i could not get selected because of OMR mistakes you know what once my chemistry teacher said one OMR mistake equal to one year drop. I wasn't serious at the time, but that was real. So keep in mind not to make OMR mistakes. The fourth serious mistake is not analyzing mistakes. You know what? Uh, we study and we have enough time to appear test, but we feel lazy to analyze our mistakes and confusion. How will our marks improve? Just imagine. I consider this the biggest mistake in any competitive exam. We generally feel lazy or neglected. And even me, I have made a lot of such mistakes during the initial days of my preparation. The problem here is you keep on checking only the scores, but not why you lost the marks, why your scores are not improving. How to fix this is maintain an error book. Write down the mistakes, write down the topic, and then revise them weekly. For example, if you made mistakes on thermodynamics, find out what's the mistake. It may be using wrong formulas, or reading the question in the wrong manner like misreading the question so what should be the solution is you read the question twice before answering and then note down the formula which you made it wrong and then revise it you'll surely improve the next time now coming to the third section mindset related mistakes this sounds less important but this is very important the first one is fear of failure and missing out the main problem is when our scores don't increase, when we can't study the number of hours that we want, when we can't cover the syllabus that we desire to, we start thinking, what will happen if I don't clear it? Anxiety kicks in here. Consequently, you'll start scrolling Instagram or YouTube for motivation or relaxation. You'll search for entertainment. So as a result, you'll lose a lot of time. When you start thinking, what if I don't? That's solved out. You'll start thinking, I am not smart enough and obviously you'll compare with your friends. You'll see that your friend studies 12 hours and you will think you study only 6, he gets 600 and I get only 300. There's a big gap. So you might think you won't achieve, you won't clear on it. But the best way to fix this is track small wins. Take one test at a time. For example, you solved 50 questions of physics or chemistry. Think that tomorrow you will do it 55 or 60. Celebrate the progress. Treat yourself no matter how small. Compete your past self, not others. You are different from others. Everyone has their own journey. Everyone has their own ability. Just be patient. Focus on the progress rather than the result. Please don't forget that NIT is like a marathon race, not a 100 meter race. So I'd like to request you, dear sprints, please replace what if with what's next. Appreciate what you have done today. Focus on one day at a time and then move on and then try to improve the next day. The second mistake under mindset related mistake is procrastination. I hope everyone knows what is this. If you don't, let me tell you. It's an art of delaying important things by doing things that are easier and are more fun. Who likes to study 10 hours every day? Who likes to wake up in the morning or sleep late night just for studying? No one, right? but it's necessary for the time being. If you want to be a doctor, if you want to crack need, then please don't procrastinate. The easiest way to fix this is, use the two minute rule, that is, just open the book, wherever you are, and in whatever position 
you are and start without thinking anything else. Start studying. The goal is to fill your brain. Trust me, you'll end up studying more than what you expected in the beginning. If this does not work, use the 5 second rule. What does this mean is, on a count of 5, immediately get up and start your work. Keep trying this and you'll surely benefit from it. Say bye to procrastination from here on. Thirdly, neglecting health. Never neglect your health. As a health professional, I need to warn you to maintain your health properly. If your body is healthy, you'll be more productive and work faster. But there are some people who says, Bro, I'll sleep after meat. I can uh, manage by sleeping just 3 or 4 hours. What happens is, uh, at the end of the week or after a month, your body becomes fatigued. You don't have the energy for long-term activities. Bro, do you want a ring or a hospital bed? Simple. You'll end up on a hospital. So, fix your sleep to 6 to 7 hours a day. Plus, exercise moderately for about 15 to 20 minutes. Also, have a good diet. That is, diets which contain protein and vitamins and minerals. We've all heard that a healthy body is equals to a sharp mind. That's true. The fourth mistake is social media distraction. I've kept this at last so that you will not forget it. This is the major problem in our time, that is today's time. We just want to check one message or stories or an update on Facebook or Instagram when we are focusing on something. Mostly when we are studying. When you realize it must have been one or two hours later, and we find ourselves watching reels and shorts or unnecessary stuffs. And you know what? Our generation nowadays are more concerned about impressing strangers on social media. Literally, people have their own work and don't give a shit about us as soon as they leave the F. They might compliment us, they might say this and that, but they don't give a damn. Just to fix this, well, it's very simple. Deactivate your social media accounts at once till 3rd May. This will help you a lot. And leaving social media for a few months won't kill you, don't worry. These unnecessary things can wait, but not deep, man. You'll lose another year. It comes once in a year. Or you may vlog apps during studies, or you can track the number of minutes or hours that you have spent on a particular app by using apps like uh, Your Hour. I've personally benefited from these apps during my preparation. They're really good. Well, after a long list of mistakes, we have come to the end. But let's understand that you are not a robot. Let's be real. You don't have to be perfect to crack it. We all have bad days, distractions, and moments of laziness. And that's perfectly fine and okay. Uh, the key is not to let one bad day turn into a bad week. Just keep a balance between the good and the bad. So, when you feel exhausted, take a break, eat something good, and come back stronger the next day or after some hours. Because, as I said, need is not about perfection, it's about fixing small licks in your preparation, one step at a time. So, dear friends, what are you waiting for? Just pause the video and honestly comment down which mistakes have you been making and promise me that you'll not let these mistakes ruin your goal of becoming a doctor. Okay then guys, uh, thank you for spending this valuable 15 20 minutes with me. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe uh, the video for more tips and motivation. Uh, if you need video on a particular topic, please comment down. See you in the next video. Keep studying, stay motivated and remember, you are closer to your goal than you were yesterday. Thank you.